What's good, YouTube? DM here with the DM Network. Today, I kind of want to speak outside the box a little bit. Talk a little bit about Goku versus Superman. But before we get into all that, y'all, follow me on the social media platforms. PSN ID is DMGaming5, Twitter at DMGaming5, Twitch at DMGaming06, and Instagram at the underscore DM underscore network. You can also follow us on Facebook at DMGaming06. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'm seeing that about 54% of y'all that are watching the video still aren't subscribed. Y'all, just being real, this, this, this would help me out tremendously if y'all would uh, click that sub button. Man, it's free. Doesn't cost you anything. You're already watching the videos. Why not subscribe? Also, don't forget to click that bell icon, turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload. We upload every single day, seven days a week. Join it over 9,000 Hype Squad. Let's go. So... Sorry for all that, man. This laptop is on my nerves. I'm trying to get a new one anyway. Goku versus Superman. Now, I don't want y'all to think that I'm here to debate who could beat who. No, that's not even almost what this video is about. But I was sitting up in the morning like I normally do, doing my route. And I got to thinking, you know, this game... It, it's, it, it amazes me if we could have a game with Goku, as powerful as Goku is, if we can have a game like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, why can't we have a game like that with Superman? You know, thinking back to the old Superman games where uh, the last one I remember was on Xbox 360, I believe, and it was horrible. It was a very bad game. It was. It really was. But you look at Goku and Superman, and they're, they're very similar. Both of them are super, super strong, super, super powerful, God-level strength, you know, able to do any and everything that they set their minds to. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not here to debate who could beat who, because people who support Goku are going to say Goku. People who support Superman are going to say Superman, and neither are going to change their minds. That's not what I'm here to debate. But I, I'm interested to see that, that with CyberConnect2 doing what they're doing with this game, how are they going to be able, you know, what is this, this, you have to think about this. This is going to open the door for more things. One Piece World Seeker, eh. But One Piece isn't as popular worldwide as Dragon Ball. And I'm wondering, you know, there, you have the Avengers game coming out next year in March. And it's, you know, it's a different style of game than what we're used to. And I, I have to wonder, are games going more to this style of a open world or free roam sandbox, allowing the players to create their own experience in a sense? Because when you look at games like Xenoverse, that experience is kind of pretty much already created for you as far as story content. Um, the only creative portion you have is with your created character. Eventually, we'll get to a game where it'll be open world or open sandbox RPG Dragon Ball with created character. That's going to happen. I don't know when. It's going to happen. And so now we, you go through certain phases. You know, first it was the single player games. Then it was the couch co-op. You know, people sitting right there beside you playing the game. And then now we're, we're in the phase of the online multiplayer you know, 3v3, 6v6, whatever style of games. And, and we know that things come full circle because the issue with the multiplayer games, the 3v3 games and things like that is microtransactions. We kind of hinted at that and talked about that a little bit in yesterday's video. Uh, and that's a big issue. Now, these things are going to court. These things are being talked about by lawmakers and things of that effect. EA Sports, who I'm not a big fan of, you know, their whole business practice is atrocious. But Bungie broke away from Activision and with New Destiny, they're they're giving players what they want. And I guarantee you, that's going to sell them. Their player base went back up by over a million when they split from Activision and when they introduced what changes they were making. It, it's, you know... It's almost as if these publishers, including Bandai Namco, I just wish, like I said, that I could sit at the table, at the corporate table, and hear the ideas that they come up with. It's, it's, it's appalling 
because you can literally get on Twitter. You can literally go on to YouTube and know exactly what people are wanting in a game. The fact that it is 2019, it's going to be 2020 before we get this game. We have waited decades for a game like this. Why is it just now coming out? You see what I'm saying? Why are they still doing DLC content for Xenoverse? Why are they still doing 3v3 games with one, one punch man? A 3v3 fighter? Are you kidding me? Who thought that would be a good idea? You see what I'm saying? And I guarantee you somebody is watching. And they're seeing this game and saying if they can take a super powered guy like Goku. Surely we could take a guy like Superman. And make a game. I guess I'm saying this because I would be darn interested to play a game as Superman. He's OP. One Punch Man is OP. I want to know in the comment section down below. How many of you would buy a game that has a character that is overpowered? See, in the multiplayer world, mm -mm, no bueno. Why? Because you have to balance the game. That's why I love single player games so much. Because balancing goes out the window. This game. They have literally already came out and said. This is going to be a PvE. Player versus environment. Or a single player game. Because if we made it multiplayer. We couldn't make it true to Dragon Ball. Because of balancing issues. Because in multiplayer games. Like Xenoverse. Like Dragon Ball Fighters. Krillin can beat Beerus. Super Saiyan Blue Goku can lose to freaking Yamcha and Chaozu. See how crazy that is? But the fact that they're going with the single player game, the fact that they're, you know, allowing this game to our bosses to be OP in the game. How OP do you think Goku's going to be when we get Super Saiyan and other skills like that? Do you really think that it will be boring to play with an overpowered character? I don't think so. I would love to experience that. I, I would love to experience that in this game. That's why I hope that I could train and get as strong as I want to get. And I got a video coming up about that. Because there's intricacies that goes into Goku's character that people aren't talking about. I mean, really much of anything we're talking about, nobody's talking about. People just get on here and they post any new information and that's it. We doing the leg work, man. Would you like to play with an OP Goku? You know? And would you like games? Would you like a Superman game for crying out loud? You know? I just, I, this just, I don't know, y'all. I'm sharing my thoughts, man. That's something that was on my mind today because it was like, wow, you know, if we can have a game like this with Goku, why can't we have a game like this with Superman? Or even One Punch Man. Or any other overpowered character like I'm Tall Goldman <laughs> from Overlord. Or, or um, what is it? How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, that anime. There are so many animes with OP characters that I would love to play a video game with, man. Maybe this is going to open the gate for that to happen. Because the developer, the producer, the director, head director for the game stated that Goku is an overpowered character. How do you take a character like that and make him playable? And that's what they're doing with this game. Guys, they have not revealed all the information about this game yet. And I truly and honestly, heart of heart believes that the more that they reveal about this game, all of those people who are saying no multiplayer, not buying it, no creative character, not buying it. This game is going to suck. This game is not going to sell. I think every last one of them is going to have to eat crow. Because the more I see this game, the more I see what you're able to do in this game. Guys, even if it doesn't, there's people even say that. Well, if it doesn't go past the Freezer Saga, it's not going to sell well. It's not. Bull crap, bro. Have you not played an RPG? I guarantee y'all, if this game only goes to the Freezer Saga, it is still going to be better than any Dragon Ball game that we have played. There is going to be more things to do, and it's going to be super in-depth. The fact that they pushed the game back, it ain't because the game wasn't ready. It's because they literally want to make sure that we get the best experience possible. 
that says a lot. This game is going to set a new trend. This game is going to set a new mold. Xenoverse won't touch it. Fighters won't touch it. Legacy of Goku? Uh-uh. This game, I have a feeling. And I'm going to tell y'all something. If you want to question what I have a feeling about, go back in the playlist. You ain't even got to watch the videos. Just look at what those videos is about. And over 95% of those videos, we were right about. Everything we talked about is in the game. I'm on a win streak, man. Let's go. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.